Hello, my name is Kaz Henry and I'm a neonatal doctor. This presentation is about how to keep term babies normothermic following delivery and it's on behalf of the Normothermia Working Group. Normothermia means keeping a baby's temperature between 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius. The reason we try to prevent hypothermia is that there are many detrimental effects of hypothermia. Being cold reduces glucose availability to a baby, despite them needing more glucose. This can cause a baby to become hypoglycemic and use anaerobic glycolysis, leading to lactic acidosis. Being cold reduces a baby's ability to make their own surfactant, or the surfactant produced does not work as well. The baby is more likely to have respiratory distress with recession and tachypnea. Hypothermia uh, causes a baby to require more oxygen, but at the same time, there can be narrowing of the pulmonary vessels, which leads to a baby having low oxygen saturations and needing oxygen. Babies who are hypothermic are more likely to have bleeding tendencies. There is a 28% increase in mortality for every one degree drop in temperature for preterm infants. The take home message from this is preventing hypothermia is much easier than overcoming detrimental effects once they occur. Infants are so vulnerable to hypothermia because they have a larger surface area to mass ratio and can lose heat easily, up to four times quicker than adults. They have weak muscle tone and do not shiver, and they're unable to vasoconstrict their peripheries to keep the heat central. Babies lose heat in a number of ways as well. Conduction is when you lose heat through physical contact with another surface or body. To prevent this, we can use pre-warm towels, and mattresses, have as warm a hands as possible, warm our stethoscopes, use warm blankets um, on our weighing scales, quickly dress babies and have hats on to insulate them. Convection is when heat is lost through the movement of air or water molecules across uh, the skin. For example, a draft in the delivery room causes a baby to lose heat. To prevent this, we can keep the delivery room temperature high, put our newborn preterm infants into plastic bags, avoid all drafts, and on the NICU, remember to close the incubator portholes. Evaporation is when heat is lost through the conversion of water to gas. This can be combated by having a warm environmental temperature, drying the infant, removing any damp linen, and during resuscitation using heated humidified gases. A newborn baby emits heat energy in the form of infrared electromagnetic waves. Radiation is the loss of heat from the baby to another object without contact, for example, the loss of heat to a cold window. It can be counteracted by using a radiant warmer for heat gain, moving away from cold windows, covering the incubator and having double walled incubators. We are working to improve the thermal outcomes for all our babies. We aim to keep their temperature between 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius after delivery, on labour suite and on the postnatal wards. We need to be thinking about thermal care at all stages of the birth process and beyond. Firstly, the environment. Is the room warm enough? We should be switching off any fans. We need to reduce drafts in the room from open windows or doors. Thinking about the equipment. Are the towels warm? Is the resuscitator switched on and warming before birth? When weighing babies, are we putting a warm towel on the scales before? Are we checking temperature regularly, especially in more at-risk infants, for example, those with low birth weight or, or preterm? Once the baby is born, are we providing good skin-to-skin -skin care? In the picture, you can see a baby is covered in a few warm, dry towels. Putting on a hat would also be useful. Are we drying the babies well and putting on well-fitting clothes? And are we feeding our babies early? Especially small or moderately preterm babies need early feeding. And are we educating our parents to change their babies if the clothes are a bit damp? Babies may need to move from labour suite to a postnatal ward or to the neonatal intensive care for reviews or antibiotics. Babies can lose heat when moving between wards and so dressing them appropriately can prevent this. When going on interward transfers, a baby should be wearing a nappy, a vest, a baby grow cardigan, have a hat on and be wrapped in a blanket. In conclusion, hypothermia is preventable. It has an impact on morbidity and mortality. Preterm and low birth weight infants are especially vulnerable. There are simple things we can do to improve. 
we should be thinking of optimising the baby's temperature at all stages of the delivery and ongoing care. Prevention is much easier than overcoming the detrimental effects of hypothermia once they occur. Thank you very much.